Was Captain Marvel a good movie? Take my money, Marvel. Take all of it. Just take it all, my boy. I thought it was okay. It was okay. It wasn't like the best. But that Endgame trailer that dropped this week is pretty insane. Am I a bad Irishman if I don't really celebrate St. Patrick's Day? How much longer till Godzilla comes out? How big is an adult leopard tortoise and how much does it weigh? And how much room do you really need if you're going to keep sulcata tortoises up north? Those questions answered today on Ask Cam Kenneth. I really just want to see Godzilla though. You got questions? Got answers. Just ask Ken. It is a hot day in Florida, let me tell you folks, but it is still time for an Ask Camp Cannon, and that's why I'm here. I'm out here braving the elements, and then it doesn't hurt that I have a little pond to go and swimming in, if I get a little warm. Uh, so I think I'm gonna answer two questions today. Uh, feeling generous, feeling motivated, feeling good, birds flying high, you know how I feel. I don't know if I can keep singing that because we might have to pay for the copyright. Anyway. Let's get to it, shall we? First question I am going to answer comes from Ross Parnigan. And he asks, are your leopard tortoises full grown? If they are, how much do they weigh? Well, that got me thinking. I think they're full grown. I've had them for a very long time. Uh, let's go and weigh them. We got a scale here. We got the old scale. We got it set to, um, we got it set to pounds. And I'm gonna put a cup on top of it like that. And then I'm going to take a tortoise and put it on top of the cup and weigh the tortoise. So we got three ounces registering. Let's go find a large female tortoise and let's answer this question right now. Uh, it's hot. The tortoises are kind of relaxing right now in the shade. There's a female. There's another female. I know the females are going to be the heaviest. This gal's pretty good size. Let's take this one. Oh, I don't know. Let's guess. Let's guess. It's almost like the video we did a few months ago. Uh, weighing the tortoise. I'm like a carnival barker figuring out what it weighs. I'm going with uh, 15 pounds. Let's see. Let's see what we got. I could be wrong. I could be right. I might be crazy. Hold on. Oh, for crying out loud. You know, it's one of those things, folks, where um, I want to get you all set up like that. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Here we go. Excitement. Excitement. Oh boy, was I way off. Seven pounds. Yeah, 7.155 pounds that is. So seven pounds, 15 ounces. Is that how it works? I don't even know. Seven pounds is what I'm going with. Um, basically, uh, that's full grown. Wow. That's why these are a medium sized tortoise. Now the Babcock eye, which is the subspecies I have, although let's be real here. Stigmacelli's Babcocci palette, Paradalis Babcocci. Um, now they're kind of considering them uh, Pardalis, Pardalis, and Pardalis Babcocci one species, meaning we used to think there were two separate species. And Pardalis, Pardalis tended to get much larger, actually getting close to sulcata size, uh, with some reports just, I've seen photos of massive leopard tortoises. How about this cow? This is a big one. I think she's bigger than the last one. Oh yeah, she's definitely bigger. Uh, all right, I'm going with 15, 15 pounds. I don't know, you'd think for a guy who picks up weights and puts them down all day that I'd know what's what, but I don't think so. All right, we're putting this back over here and we're going for it. Well, that's a little closer to 15 pounds. That's actually 12 pounds. So that's about 12 pounds. This is a female, egg producing female. Okay, 
Come on, honey bunny. There you go. Well, there's your answer. Uh, I'm sure there are heavier uh, specimens of leopard tortoise out there, but mine are uh, all probably under 20 pounds. Uh, females are going to be large and males are probably going to be a few pounds lighter than that. Probably somewhere in the neighborhood of, uh, oh, I don't know, maybe. Well, let's, may let's weigh one. Mm -hmm. Why guess? Let's answer these questions. Let's grab a male, which I saw over here. What do you think, folks? This guy or this guy? I'm going with this guy. He's a little bit larger. Let's see him. Oh, yeah. Oh. And uh, healthy tortoises are going to feel heavier than they look. That's how you know they're nice and healthy. So we're going to weigh them. Let's check it out. Oh, boy. Oh, and he's got that concavity, so uh, he's looking at about, yep, seven pounds. So seven pounds on the male. And uh, I'm not going to weigh every single tortoise because I actually wanted to get to another question. All right, so there's your uh, answer, Ross. They're full grown and they weigh under 20 pounds. Uh, so that makes sense. All right, now we're going to wander. Let's walk not too far. Um, we're going to kind of go out of here. We're going to go to see Sol Goddess because it pertains to them. I got to fix all this, folks. This is just from the construction. So much stuff. It's going to take a while for the grass to grow back. Uh, this question I got is from Gabe Earhart. Airheat. Airheat? I don't know. Earhart? I think it's Earhart. What do you think it says? I think it says Gabe Earhart. But he says air heat. I don't know. I'm going to go with air heat. That's what he wrote. Uh, okay. So his question is, I'm uh, moving to the high desert in the northwest of the United States. We will be on three acres of land and we are considering adopting some sulcata tortoises. The summers here average around 80 degrees Fahrenheit during the day and drops quite a bit at night. The winters, however, are very cold. So uh, let's see. My question is how large of a barn is needed for a group of four to five adult sulcatas over the winter and how much area should they have to go outside to roam around in the summer? Thank you for all you do for the community. P.S. Keep up the great work. P.S. Super envious of your new rec pond. Uh, well, thank you, Gabe. Uh, let's see. Let's get answering that question. Number one, I would strongly suggest that you don't get sulcata tortoises if you live someplace cold. Um, you know me, I like to keep animals outside all year round. I think it's just better for the animals, especially large tortoises that like to move around quite a bit. Now, uh, as you can see, their area has been under construction and I didn't want to let them roam around yet because I'm going to try and grow some grass back. So I kind of will be altering their habitat and now's a good time to tell you about it because we're talking about space, right? We got some grass growing back, thankfully. All right, so I'm thinking actually of coming right down here and carving over, and this will be the sulcata area. Um, we're gonna just keep them in this general vicinity because we have plans for all of this, okay? So um, that's what I'm gonna be doing. I've got some plans. I'm gonna be doing a few other uh, enclosures over here. I think you guys will dig it. Um, there are going to be very happy uh, tortoises here in a little bit. But uh, anyway, yes. So as far as space for four to five sulcatas, um, you know, the bigger the better um, within reason. So I'd say for four to five, you want to do maybe a 50 by 100 foot would be really, really good because I don't think they would eat the grass down uh, to the dirt, um, which is very important. You don't want that to happen. Um, so that would be good. And then as far as indoors, Gosh, um, I would go with a 30 by 20 barn, something in that neighborhood. If you're going to be keeping them in for longer periods of time, think about it all winter long. Um, you're going to have to keep it heated, which is going to cost a bunch of bucks. Uh, we've got to have the UVB lighting put in there, um, some hides for them. You got to make sure that the barn, they can't dig out of the barn because they will dig if it's a dirt floor. Um, so you got to make sure the perimeter is May, is made to where they don't have to or they can't dig rather so you want to do that um you know very important uh but you know what i'm not sure what your financial situation is uh it sounds like you know you got a pretty good one if you're looking at sulcatas here are mine they're just kind of hanging out right now so you're gonna want to make sure that these guys have 
plenty of room when they're inside. This, of course, is a very small barn. And I have nine sulcatas in here. And the sulcatas actually are, um, you know, they only come in here when they're trying to get out of the hot sun, which is what's going on today, or in the cold nights that we have here in Florida over the winter, uh, they'll come in there and we have a, a heater come on, a thermostat. Um, so I would highly recommend, um, you know, figuring out, like if you're gonna build a barn specifically for sulcatas, you wanna build it with one area that has cement, okay? And I would put radiant heat in the cement so that they can warm their bellies up. But then again, you're gonna want the air temperature to be comfortable too, at least 75 degrees. Under the basking areas, you're gonna wanna get it up to about 105 degrees. So you're gonna have to suspend some lighting. Uh, and then at night, like I said, those radiant heaters um, work really well under cement. Uh, you want to basically keep the edge off. So you want to keep them around 70 degrees uh, on the coldest nights and never let them get below 65 uh, because that's when things really get uh, uh, real tricky for these guys. So you don't want them to be upset. Oh, are you coming over to say hello to everybody? There she is. Say hello. Oh, there you go. But again, what I recommend, folks, is keeping sulcatas if you live in the south. Um, if you're going to do something for tortoises uh, and you really want to do something that won't break the bank and you can still help out, uh, you know, try these smaller species. The Greeks, the Marginateds, the Cherry Heads, Redfoots. Hey, even the Leopards are, um, as we've seen, they don't get huge. They're manageable. So there you have it. Okay, there's some questions answered. I hope I helped you out, Mr. Uh, er, er, Erhe. Gabe. Gabe, I hope I helped you out, buddy. Um, I have fun doing these videos. I hope you guys enjoy them. I rattle on. Some days I'm very succinct in what I'm talking about. Other days I'm an airhead. But, uh, you know, you're getting quality info. Promise. Uh, there you have it. <laughs> A lot of us in today's video. Anyhow, I am hot. I am tired. I am ready to go. So. For you folks out there, thanks. Leave a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. And I will see you soon. If you like the videos, head on over to patreon.com slash Cam Cannon. Or is that patreon.com slash Cam Cannon? Yeah, that's what I just said. Go on over there and uh, get your question answered. All right? Thank you so much. I leave you with leopard tortoises. See ya. Why are you turning so fast at me? I'm just trying to get things going. Okay. Here, okay. Right, you follow me.